Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. I'm Nye, and we are heading to Metropolis. Because, supposedly, this is where Dr. Nefarious is going to strike next. Supposedly. Maybe. We got it out of a comic book. That, that, that works, right? I mean, superheroes normally get their hints out of comic books, right? succeed. Ratchet will put an end to your madness. The only ending in Ratchet's future is the his own of his own life. <laughs> Thank you, Monkey Metal Man. And you will have a front row seat. <laughs> okay, it's been too long since I've shot something. There's something I noticed about, uh... Oh, I forgot to mention. Before I go on. The Bolt Grabber 2.0 that I got earlier gives us the box smashing ability. Uh, the, uh, one that you, uh, see at the box smasher thing of the first planet of the last game. Yeah, that. Um. I lost the plot of where I was going with that. Is he going to attack me? Yes, no, he is. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to see if I can get some damage on the hollow shield. There we go. Apparently you have to deploy it in the middle of them, otherwise it doesn't work. This is worth upgrading, really. Apparently not allowed to put more in them. <sighs> no new one. One thing that kind of amuses me, that uh, Nefarious has that gigantic dome of a head when he's, you know, squishy. And he keeps it. Isn't that, like, the first thing you'd fix? Yeah. Maybe I would. Anyways. Let's get to the killing. Oh, hi there. Man, how are them? I'd be pissed at me. I just broke their toys. Oh, that looks secretive. What's over here? That's an upgrade. See, I think it I think it bounces now. Let's see. <coughs> yep. It ricochets now. I see a platinum bolt. Titanium bolt down. Yeah. Okay, uh, while I'm searching around here, we are looking for a blimp. There's a blimp. Skill point. Destroy the blimp, get a skill point. Man, I feel like a terrorist. It's kind of good feeling. Skill point taken care of. No, I'm not gonna fall down there. 
I also can't remember what the uh, track I was earlier. Oh, I did notice, did you notice that Clank seems to be behind engines of some sort of ship? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, what is with these freaking ships just popping out of nowhere? More than that, what's with these ships and being killed by this gun? Now take upgrade. Ow. Don't do that, that's not nice. Don't do over there. Ah, that's the end. I used to have such trouble in this level. Then again, I was young and needed the money. I mean, um, I was young and... Oh, hey, look, a tank. It is time, Lawrence. Time to unveil the true future of this galaxy. The future I have chosen! Oh, sorry. Did you say something, sir? The activation device! Now! Behold oh, this is the good. final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! I don't even want to know. Lawrence! Oh. Dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? <laughs> My mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. By all means, sir. Carry on. Ah, <laughs> uh, that doesn't look good. Decidedly not good. Ow! Oh, okay, that was unfair. So that's not good. Uh, the uh, thing I was commenting on earlier is uh, something cool about, uh, well, Clank and Dr. Nefarious and uh, just about every other robotic enemy or unit in the game. Also, Scrunch Trophy. Yay! Uh, namely that uh, it's very cool that they don't try to flex out their jaws or anything. I mean, you'll notice some very slight variations on with their jaw and everything to suit, uh, you know, moods and all that jazz. But they don't really try to abuse the fact, or try to make uh, the non-flesh look like flesh. They just kind of accept the limitation and move from there. This is gonna end well. As you may guess, the uh, robotic versions of these enemies are uh, a little bit tougher than their normal counterparts. And by a little bit, I mean a little bit. Hey look, the bio obliterator is just kind of sitting over there. I am being shot at. I wonder if the pilot of that thing is robotic too. Okay, this looks suspicious. Hey, look, titanium bolt. Ah, no! Wow. That was, uh, that was special on my part, I apologize. Yep, these guys take a few hits now. Wait, really? Re uh, really? I can't... Really? Fine! You're only allowed to have so many hollow shields on the ground at once. Oh, hey, look, Tank, I appreciate that you want a little bit of love and affection, but I'm not the one to give it to you, so can you go away, please?
go away. <coughs> Anyways. Hey, attack your fellows for me. kind of see it in the upper left-hand corner with the uh, experience meter slowly creeping up. I'll take a little more damage than I care to take, though, so goodbye. Good to know how that works, though. The cool thing about them is, if I remember correctly, yep, they don't block our shots. Oh god, Disney Blue's done so. God, I love how powerful this thing is. Ow. Oh, really? I'm all the way back here. All the. Really? This is why I got frustrated with the game on this level. It's simply because of, uh. Hey, that leveled up. Now what does it do? Apparently it now affects multiple people. Dude, not even dealing with you now. Go away. Should I stop playing badly? I think I should stop playing badly. This episode's taking too long already. No, really, actually, the end of this episode is kind of, like, right here. As I had to pass through these areas. I have a few more things in the battle arena I have to do, so I can level up my guns in there. Eat. You and you. One, two, and three for you. One shot left. Oh, well, I made it count. Uh, let's see. That's level five. That's level five. That's level five. That's level five. That's level three, but I can't use that for these reasons. Bio Crow Launcher has leveled up to the V5. The Nitro Eruptor has a wider blast radius and simultaneously launches a volley of energy missiles with each shot. I like the look of that. How? The Gravity does not work that way. I can even ask. I still alive. Those things are stronger than that. I'm not sure exactly what this is gonna do, but oh, right. here, give me a bridge. That's the bio obliterator right there. Am I sure I want to be heading in this direction? 
And I think Ratchet would like to continue being a Lombax for as long as possible. Ow. You know what? Not even gonna deal with it. Nope. Nefarious and that butler and guy, butler guy. And, and Clank got Clank. They're uh, holding you prisoner. How about that? <laughs> I guess I should be feeling pretty stupid right now. I don't suppose there's any chance he's the evil Clank. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been laughing so hard today, my sides ache. I must admit, Ratchet, you've proven to be a far more worthy adversary than that imbecile Quark. Alas, I have a galaxy to conquer, so our game must end here. Oh, please it's don't. Let's play something to continue. You won't live long enough to see the rest of your kind. Exterminated. <laughs> There's any Lombaxes left? Oh, wait, that one girl. Clank, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, buddy. Yep, this is, I mean, this is a pretty simple fight, it really is. It'd be even simpler if I didn't keep on getting hit by really stupid attacks. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Where my agents of doom are going exactly. Okay, you know what? Blow this for game soldiers. Hi, you. Just go away. Die. All of the death. All of it. All of the death. I do want my agents to do it. But they won't, so, um. Come here, giant evil clank. Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. No, no, oh, that was, that was, that was, I don't even know what that was. Should have expected that to happen, shouldn't I? I love that flinch they do when you deal enough damage. So much damage! Okay. Why well, couldn't have been that easy the first time? I am sorry, Ratchet. This is all my fault. Knock it off, Clank. Nefarious did this, and he is gonna pay for it. For Metropolis and for what he did to Quark and Skid. You and I are gonna make sure of that. That's Come right. On. Let's get off this planet before we end up dead. Or worse. Or worse. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. I will see you next time, because we still have some unfinished business on this planet. I'll see you soon.